Good People, Noctua has a first case collaboration ever, and I'm happy that you have chosen Antec as uh, the first case into this space because the Antec Flex Pro is already an excellent enclosure. It has well-regarded airflow. The colorway here is gorgeous. I think we've grown out of the part of making fun of the Noctua Brown. We're all maturing into the place where this now kind of makes more sense, you know? Jacob, the case is very well regarded with airflow and you've gone and made it even better. In a nutshell, it's very simple. We just replaced the original fans with ours. Our latest NFA 14 X25 G2 and NFA 12 X25 G2 fans, three 140 millimeter intake uh, at the front, one exhaust in the back and two 120 millimeter uh, on the PSU shroud. We did a lot of performance uh, testing for this one. And what we found is that we, uh, by integrating our fans, can substantially reduce noise levels, especially with high heat load configurations. Because I see there's an ultra quiet ATX PC case. So all the data we have in the back here is noise normalized. We tested two different scenarios. One is a very high heat load scenario where we took a 9950X CPU at 200 watt combined it with an overclocked, heavily overclocked 4090 GPU at 600 watt, so 5090 uh, territory. And in this uh, configuration, we can see that scaling across the entire RPM range, we have a significant noise reduction, um, especially on the GPU. We're talking about uh, up to 7 dB uh, lower noise levels uh, at, uh, at maximum air speed, uh, fan speed on the CPU. Uh, the benefits are especially high in the lower RPM ranges. We have uh, around six uh, decibel noise reduction at the same CPU temperature. One thing that we found is that, uh, as you've mentioned, the Flux Pro is already a very high airflow case. If you have less heat load inside the case, like in our regular scenario when we kept the 4090 at 450 watt, you can see the lines converging towards the lower RPM range. And that is because uh, at a certain level, you reach a, a thermal saturation point where basically the intake air uh, temperature for both the CPU cooler and the GPU cooler is uh, the same as the ambient air. So at that point, increasing airflow at the same noise level doesn't give you any benefits anymore. Mm -hmm. So the bottom line for the customer is that if you're running a high heat load configuration or if you want to go as quiet as possible on a, I would say, regular heat, uh, heat output system, uh, you're going to see a, a substantial improvement from the Noctua edition over the regular one. So it's a lot of fans into the enclosure. I think close to $300 in just Noctua fans, including the Noctua hub that's going to replace the original. Pricing is definitely not final yet, um, but we're, uh, we're definitely working hard and aiming to go slightly below what you would uh, uh, pay for getting the case uh, plus the fans. So I would say a 399 would be a very nice, uh, nice target price. I have to stress though that this is a Euro price and uh -huh. we have a tough time <laughs> communicating US prices for okay. future products at the moment. Right. I mean, 399 sounds like a lot, but like you said, if you were to purchase these separately and go the route of replacing the fans, by yourself, I think the Noctua edition, including the little brown colorways and the little inscription in the wood with an Antec plus Noctua collaboration does add a little bit of the value. And I'm noticing that you're using the the little vibration dampers for the, the, what are they called, rubber screws? The demo system has them here. The plan is to use them. It's just that we still have to go uh, through a little bit of drop test sampling. So uh. I don't want to fully promise that we're going to be able to utilize the, the mm -hmm. vibration mounts yet. Now, on the topic of noise, you guys have some acoustic noise and you've tested at different directions. Uh, yeah. What have you found? Something interesting? Yeah, very interesting and very interesting from a case reviewer's perspective. We did a lot of um, acoustic directivity testing, so um, not just measuring from one angle, but actually um, going from the front all the way to the back of the case in 30 degree steps. Um, and as you can see uh, in the charts uh, on top here, uh, the noise levels actually differ quite a bit per angle. And we also see different uh, acoustic directivity responses from the different configurations. And uh, I'm and noticing here with 100% uh, fan speed with an octo enclosure, you're actually looking at higher or lower levels at 90 degrees. Yeah, that, that's exactly the complexity of case acoustics. Yeah. Uh, so when you look at 100% fan speed, you can see that the Noctua edition is uh, very slightly quieter when measured from the front, mm -hmm. but a little bit louder when measured from the side, and then quieter again when measured from the back. So all the data we've looked at previously is uh, a bit of a simplification in the sense that we had to collapse all these data into averages to, uh, uh, to uh, integrate them into one y-axis uh, on, on the graphs. Right. But if you dig deeper, uh, you will see that, uh, yeah, 
uh, acoustic radiation uh, differs uh, per direction. And uh, that is, of course, important for reviewing in the sense that when you just measure from one angle, you're always at the risk of um, being at a spot that is the sweet spot for one configuration and maybe a bad spot for the other configuration. Right. But also highlights that you actually might not want to be running, especially with six fans that are high performance at full power all the time, which is why the 50% fan speed is such a huge advantage for the Noctua edition. Like you're saving. E exactly. I mean, that's why I stressed that this is from our perspective, really a fantastic choice if you want to go very low noise and keep your fans running as slow as possible. But when looking at the 100% results, it's also important to keep in mind that if you go for that high, very high heat load scenario, we're talking like heavily um, uh, um, loaded or overclocked CPUs uh, that put out 200 watt or more plus, let's say, a 5090, uh, then even at 100% fan speed, you are seeing massive temperature differences. Right. So while the raw noise benefit may not be uh, there, you still get much lower um, temperatures at that noise level. Mm -hmm. So we feel that even uh, even if you need to run 100% fan speed, uh, it's still going to be a good choice uh, as long as you, uh, you have the heat load that really requires these fan speeds. Right. Another thing that we found interesting is that um, with the 100% fan speed tested inside the case, we can see that the two configurations are more or less neck and neck. Uh, the Nocturne Edition is actually a tad louder on average. But if we look at the fans in isolation, we can see uh, that ours is actually quieter across the entire RPM range and putting out more air across the entire RPM range. But the, the reason why uh, the coin flips uh, when we install them inside the case is just that inside the case, we will have extra turbulence from the extra airflow that the fans crank out. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the, the picture is a little bit different than uh, when you would look at the fans in isolation. Mm -hmm. And do you think that that information of introducing more airflow and noticing that extra turbulence would lead into better case design in the future or better fan design specifically targeted for cases? Uh, I mean, reducing turbulence uh, and reflu uh, reducing flow impedance in, in case design is always a good thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so th th that's clear. It's, of course, unavoidable to a certain degree. I mean, unless you're running a completely open bench table, you'll right. always have some sort of turbulence from uh, grills, meshes, uh, panels. Mm -hmm. um, but for for the end user, I think uh, the, the key takeaway message is that more is not always better. So really experiment a little bit where the sweet spot is for your system rather than just having the fans running at full blast because right. you may actually be able to drop RPM levels uh, quite significantly without any thermal disadvantage. Right. Maybe introducing some sort of directed shroud, but that's also very system hardware specific. But you know, this being an Octo edition, I'm loving all the data that is kind of built in behind this enclosure. And I think that the price point, given everything that we have here, is fair. Uh, but let us know what you think. Thanks so much for, uh, for the, the insight, Jacob. And my pleasure. We'll talk to you in the next video.